Okay, this is part three of my electromagnetic spectrum series, and I think it might be the last one. But in this part, we're going to calculate the wavelength from the frequency and the energy, and we're actually going to start out with energy, and then we're going to work our way through the frequency and then to the wavelength. It's kind of the opposite direction we went in part two, where we started out with the energy, went frequency and wavelength. This time we're going to go back in the other direction. Okay, so let's go on and uh, do some calculations. <clears throat> All right. You can see that um, it says here I'm going to be given energy, and I'm going to start with electron volts, and we're going to calculate frequency, which means we have to go through joules first, conversion to joules first. But let's first go through the equations that we're going to use. The first equation is our energy equation. The energy in a photon of light is equal to Planck's constant times F. That will give us our energy in joules, Planck's constant being 6.63 times 10 to the minus 34 joule seconds. Our second equation we can use to calculate the frequency or the wavelength. This symbol here is lambda. That's the symbol for wavelength. C is the speed of light, which is a constant. So we can say that C equals frequency times wavelength. And C right here we have is 3.0 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. Now, as I pointed out in the previous video, we have our second, excuse me, our third equation, which we got the third equation by solving our second equation for the frequency which we then get is C over wavelength. We can substitute this frequency in for this frequency, and you get energy is HC divided by wavelength. So there's two equations for the energy. One, if you know the frequency. One, if you know the wavelength. I'm not going to use this third equation. I'm going to go through all the steps and go uh, <clears throat> and just use these first two equations. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, I'm just randomly picking uh, energy and electron volts, and I chose 4.5 electron volts. Okay, now we want to calculate that, we want to convert that first to joules. So we're going to convert that, we're going to use this conversion factor, one electron volt is 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 joules. So I'm going to put my one electron volt in the bottom of my fraction this time, or my conversion factor, I'm going to put 1.60 times 10 to the minus 19 joules, and I'm going to multiply those two together, and I get that my corresponding energy in joules is 7.20 times 10 to the minus 19 joules. Okay, so that's joules. Now I'm going to therefore, the next thing I'm going to do is calculate the frequency. I'm going to use this equation, my first equation, because I know Planck's constant. I know the uh, energy, which I just calculated, just converted, and I want to find the frequency. So I'm going to say that the energy is equal to HF. That means that the frequency is therefore equal to the energy divided by H, or Planck's constant. The energy is what we calculated above. So the energy is 7.20 times 10 to the minus 19 joules. Planck's constant, which we have above there, 6.63 times 10 to the minus 34 and it's joule seconds. And you can see this joule will cancel with this joule, and we're left with a frequency that is 1.09 times 10 to the 15th hertz. Okay? So in this slide, I showed you how to calculate, start with the energy in electron volts. We converted that to joules. And then we used our first equation, E equals HF, to solve for the frequency. And the frequency in this case is 1.0 times 10 to the 15th hertz. OK, let's erase that. Let's go on to the second step. In the second step, we say we're given the frequency. We're going to use the same frequency that we had before. And that is that the frequency equals <clears throat> 1.0. 9 times 10, oops, to the 15th hertz. And we want to calculate 
the wavelength now using our frequency, and we're going to use the second equation because we know the frequency, we know the speed of light, and we're going to calculate wavelength. So we say that C equals frequency times wavelength. We want to solve for the wavelength. That means the wavelength is C divided by the frequency. C is the speed of light, 3.0 times 10 eighth meters per second divided by our frequency, which is 1.09 times 10 to the 15th hertz. Now, as you know, hertz is cycles per second, or 1 over s. So this 1 over s cancels with this 1 over s, and we are left with 2.75 times 10 to the minus 7 meters. Okay, now... Let's convert that into nanometers. So we have 2.75 decimal here times 10 to the minus 7 meters. And we're going to use our second conversion factor. 1 meter is equal 1 times 10 to the 10 to the 9th nanometers. See where we are on the spectrum. So we have 1 meter, and that's 1 times... 10 to the 9 nanometers. That's supposed to be a 9. And you can see that we end up with 275 nanometers. Okay, now the first thing you should notice is that's 275 nanometers. That is outside the visible portion of the electromagnetic spectrum. The visible portion goes from 400 to 700 nanometers. That's 275. So that's going to be in the ultraviolet or maybe even below the ultraviolet. All right, so we can have a number that's outside the visible portion. It still has a frequency. It still has a wavelength, just that we would not be able to see that light with our visible eyes, excuse me, as visible light. So you can see we started with electron volts. We converted to joules. Then we calculated the frequency. Then from the frequency, we calculated the wavelength in meters. And then from wavelength in meters, we calculated the well, was, excuse me, we converted to the wavelength in nanometers. Okay? So I hope that's helpful. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you very much.